In this video, we are going to look at what happens if your triangles do not give you nice numbers, meaning what happens if you're actually working with radians. So here we're going to look at writing this complex number in trigonomic form. You want to express your result in exact form if possible. Otherwise, use decimals in radians and you're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So first and foremost, we need to work our triangle because we need to be able to know what angles we are working with. So we have negative 3 minus 1. So we are working with um, negative negative down here in the third quadrant. So this would be our triangle and that would be your angle of reference. So here this tells us that we have negative 3 and negative 1. So we need to find the z value here. Now, with that, one of the things that we automatically know is that we don't have a triangle like this in our unit circle, which automatically says that this z value here is not going to be nice and pretty. Okay? When that occurs, and we can prove it by finding the magnitude, so here we've got your z is going to be the square root again of a squared plus b squared. So let's take a look. So this is going to be negative 3 squared plus negative 1 squared, which is going to be the square root of 10, because negative 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. And notice this does not reduce nicely. So because this here is not a very nice value to work with, in order to find my reference here, it means we're going to be dealing with radians. So my reference angle can be found using the tangent. Because tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this would be negative 1 over negative 3, which is the same as 1 third. So therefore, we would say that my reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of one-third, which is the decimal 0 0.3218. Now with that, we need to be able to find the actual. So here, we have to be able to find the actual angle, which is this angle here, so let's call that, say, angle alpha. So to find alpha says that we need to remember the reference rule when we're in the third quadrant. And the third quadrant says that you're going to take 180 and add your reference. Well, 180 is the same as pi, so this is going to be pi plus your angle of reference. So here we're going to use 3.14 plus 0.3218. And in this case, we're going to get an angle of reference of 3.46. Now that being said, we can or fill out the rest of our information. We're, so we're still going to use z times the cosine of your angle plus i sine of your angle. And since all we want is trig form, we simply plug in. Our z is the square root of 10 times the cosine of 3.46 plus i sine of 3.46. And there we go. Now notice we've rounded to the hundredths place, which was what our direction said, and we are in our proper form. All right, let's look at one more example here so you can see how this works. And in this case, we are doing an operation. We're going to use division. 
So just like with um, others, we're going to have a triangle for each part of our division here. And so the problem says that you need to perform the operation and show the answer in both trigonomic form and standard form. Express the result in exact form if possible, otherwise use decimal approximation in radians and round to the nearest hundredth. So there we go, hundredths again is going to be the most important piece. So let's go ahead and start with the top. So here we have negative 2 minus 2i. So let's go ahead and work that triangle. Here both um, x and y are negative, so again we're going to be here in this third quadrant. Here is our angle. So we're going to have negative 2, negative 2, and then we need to find our z value here. So here we've got that z is equal to the square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, which is equal to the square root of 4 plus 4, which is going to end up being 2 square roots of 2. So since this is obviously not nice and this triangle cannot be found on the unit circle, we can go ahead and assume that this triangle um, has to be found using the ideas of tangent. So here we are going to find our reference. So we're going to have that the tangent of the reference is equal to negative 2 over negative 2. So in this case we're going to have that my tangent of the reference is equal to 1. So my reference equals the inverse tangent of 1, which is going to give me 0 0.785. With that being said, I need to find my actual angle. So this would be the angle here. So again, we can call that alpha. And because I'm in the third quadrant, we would use that same rule that my alpha is going to be 180 plus my reference. Since I'm using radians, this is going to be pi. My reference was 0 0.7854. So this is going to give me an actual angle of 3.93. So here this says that we can write our formula as 2 square roots of 2 times the cosine of 3.93 plus i sine of 3.93. Now I need to find the other one. So we're going to use 4 plus 3i. So here we have 4 plus 3i is going to be down in this one. Both are positive, so we're going to be here in this first quadrant. So this is going to be our triangle. Again, here is our reference. So this says we have 4 and 3. So automatically, we know this is that special right 3, 4, 5 triangle, but you can prove it using your magnitudes. And the 3, 4, 5 triangle does not file into the unit circle, so therefore we would solve this using tangent. So we're going to say the tangent of your reference is equal to 3 over 4. So my reference is going to be the inverse tangent of 3 over 4, which is going to be the decimal. 0.6435. Now the rule here is that in my first quadrant your reference and your actual are the same. So my say beta angle is equal to my reference angle which is equal to 0 0.64. And so here this would then mean that we would have um, 5 
times the cosine of 0 0.64 plus I sine the cos of 0 0.064. So now we can put it all together. So we can do our division. So we're going to have the top, 2 square roots of 2. We're going to have then the cosine of 3.93 plus I sine of 3.93 and we're going to divide this by the bottom which was 5 cosine of 0 0.64 plus I sine of 0 0.64. Following our division rules says we're going to divide our Z values so this is going to be 2 square roots of 2 over 5 and we're going to multiply that by the cosine and we're going to do top minus bottom so 3.93 minus 0 0.64 and then we're going to have I sine of the same thing 3.93 minus 0 0.64 we're going to go ahead and do that math so this is going to give us 2 square roots of 2 over 5 times the cosine of 3.28 plus I sine 3.28 and that is your trig form. Now the other thing that we would then be able to do um, is convert that back over into your standard form if possible. However, with this being your decimals, the one thing that you could definitely do is we would go ahead and be done. Okay, so there we have rounded to the nearest hundredths. We have expressed it in what it is that um, we needed to express. We used our tangent because these triangles did not fall within the unit circle. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, be very careful. Make sure to remember if your triangle does not fall inside the unit circle, that you then would use your tangent, which means you're using the information provided in order to find your radian measures. Okay. So I do hope you enjoyed yourself and I'll see you next time.